Keith, we were looking at a draw for, for, for quite a while in that game. Germany's first goal here in this game, you're going to take us through this one. Well, they started the second half very much in the same fashion they started the first half with a real intent. Werner started on the left-hand side and he was very prominent in the second half from this position. Just direct, positive play. They get good fortune, but they earn it because they're flooding the box with numbers. This is something they weren't doing against Mexico. Royce gets into the danger area. You get into those areas, you earn your look. It comes off his knee. We're going to get a good angle of it now. As it comes up, flick off Gomez. Trickles past Olsen in, in the Swedish goal. Like I've already said, you get into those areas time and time again. You ask questions of the opposition. You're going to get that little bit of luck at times. So that's... Germany putting themselves back in the game and Liam you've already eloquently described this the winner but yourself and Didi here as well I don't even know if I can paint the picture of emotion that I saw on your face <laughs> Didi as this yeah. ball went into the net yeah it, uh, as I said straight away it's probably too close to cross the ball so I, I think this is you know games are, are decided by, by details and I think what made the goal in the first place is how they took that free kick it takes a touch Roy stops it and then he, he's only got one thing in his mind he's got a bend it into the far top corner, uh, perfectly executed, but a, but a great decision, as I said, because I think it would have been too close to the to the goal to, to cross the ball for maybe somebody to head. And, um... would, that would have been an easy way out, wouldn't it, Didi? You know, and you have to have the character, you have to have the personality. I'm sure he said to Royce, you just stand there, give me a bit more of an angle to bend this mm. one in, and cometh the hour, cometh the man. Like, he's, he is a class player, he's yeah. Real Madrid, uh, he's a top top midfield player. He didn't have a great game tonight, but he, he took that shot on when he needed to. I, I think that makes it be even more remarkable after a, a very average or below average game in the first game and then today again he gives the goal away uh, or he makes a mistake for the for the, for the the goal they concede and then to have the, the guts and the, the courage to say, you know, I take it on. Um, you know, hats off to him and, uh, yeah, what a huge goal it could have uh, turned out to be. How does it compare, Keith, to the equaliser that Ronaldo scored against Spain? Because everybody's talking about great goals in the tournament, the composure, the leadership. Where do you rank that one? Well, well the angle is, is tougher. Um, the circumstances are, are, are more drastic for a German point of view because Ronaldo's goal was in the first game. There's, there's more room for error. Germany were in a, such a precarious position there. And I'm with the lads in terms of his performance levels and we've touched on the leadership or lack of it within that German team. That's leadership. That is absolute leadership. Leadership, is going around screaming and shouting at players, that's gone out the window now. That's old fashioned. That is taking the game by the scruff of the neck and to show that bravery because we've just said off camera, if that goes two, three yards past the post at that speed, everyone's gone, why didn't you put it in the box? So he's shown a lot of character. The other thing, that. Liam, that I saw is the celebrating that they did together, you know, you were wondering about are they together, What's you know, what sort of a group are they? A goal like that is the kind of thing that's going to bring them together. No, I don't it? think you could question their character tonight. Uh, maybe maybe Bo Tang, uh, we're going to do a little bit of pe uh, a little bit of on him later on. He, 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 he wasn't at the races tonight, he, he made a lot of mistakes. But the character of most of the German side uh, was, was very, very sound. They kept going. Uh, they didn't look like they were going to get the look because the Swedish defence, yeah, let's hand it to them, they're big, strong lads, they put their body on the line, they stopped, uh, stopped crosses, they stopped shots. But the German team kept going and they were very unlucky when Brandt hit that post, weren't they? Mm. That could have gone in. As I said, the Olsen made a great save from Gomez and they deserved it, 100% no, deserved it.